So his company is one of the biggest app makers in the world, and of course yesterday we talked about the release of the new iPad, so you would think he'll be even busier than ever before now. Alex Moazed is the founder, CEO, and president of Applico. He joins us now. Hey, how's business? Right. It's booming. It's fantastic. Uh, in terms of, we were talking in the break, you can't hire, you, can you even find enough people to hire? We, we really are hiring across the board for engineering positions, strategist positions, project managers, designers, uh, not just technical positions, but your non-technical positions as well. And you can't find enough of them here in this country, can you? Or maybe you can. In this country, well, we have to expand outside of New York. That's where our headquarters are currently. Right. But uh, we are looking at L.A., Boston, Chicago are all on our roadmap for this year. And then after that, uh, the sky's the limit, really. Uh, let me ask you about the new iPad, uh, because we talked about some of the features, and it was talked about on the network all day long mm -hmm. yesterday. It means what for you, this, you know, the higher resolution screen and everything else? Do you have to go in and redesign all the apps you make, or is it not that complicated? Apple does a great job in terms of supporting these new features going forward in their devices. It doesn't require us to retool some of the applications that we've made already for the iPad. So they're existing apps we've made for our clients, and those will just look much better, much cleaner, and provide yeah. an even better user experience. So they've done a pretty good job at having that forward compatibility. We've had a, a long discussion. I, I don't use that. I have an iPhone and an iPad, and I don't have that many apps because I find that most of them, I'll download them, particularly free ones, and use them once or twice, mm -hmm. and they just don't add value. Do you, how do you prevent that from happening? How do you avoid it? And do you think that that's a problem? I, I think if, if you look at the, the app market on, on Apple specifically, there are around 600,000 different applications. And given in, in any kind of uh, market like that where you have that wide variety of selection, there are going to be applications that trend toward the top. Yeah. And there are premium applications where you can get a lot of repeat utility and use out of them. And that's what we work with our clients on to help figure out why are users going to come back and reuse this application again and again. What's the biggest reason for that? Because that's right. so true. I mean, I have, you know, some apps are, are horrible. These are some of the companies you've worked with and, you know, GM and down the line. And some of them are great. I mean, I love the Major League Baseball app. I get it every year and pay for it. Mm -hmm. and it's terrific. I mean, they have video on it and stat everything. It's great. And other apps, like Dagan says, you use once and you never use again. What's the difference between the ones you go back to and the ones you don't? Honestly, what it comes down to is thought and thinking these things through. If you are putting the time and effort to really think through all the different use cases that people want to use your application and what does that mean for my user and my target market, then you're going to plan that out and think, all right, I'm going to have a user download this, but now why do they want to come back and use this? Well, how, why are most consumer companies, and that could be any company from a, a low Citan, which you've done work for, or General Motors, what do, they want, what do they use the app for in terms of relating to the customer? Well, for consumer-facing applications, you can have things that are uh, a marketing campaign and you're using it as a promotional activity, all the way to an extension of your existing product, and you're now bringing that, that experience to your users on their phone, which they're carrying around with them all times throughout the day. Let me ask you a cybersecurity question, because our reporter in Washington, Peter Barnes, was just doing a story about that topic. How do you make the apps more secure for your clients? And I'm sure that's becoming a bigger and bigger deal. That, that's a great point. Uh, it's a huge area of concern these days, especially as we start looking at mobile payments and how that's going to right. come into the app landscape. It, it comes down to the different security protocols that we use in the application. We have some great engineers uh, at our company that have a background with the Department of Defense and working in security-based applications already. And then they can bring that know-how in terms of how you're protecting data and how you're designing these applications. Right. What are your two favorite apps that you use personally mm -hmm. on your iPad? That you don't make yourself. Oh. Right. Well, that no, you can. <laughs> uh, two apps <laughs> that we do not make. I, for productivity, I use docs to go a great deal. allows me to not take my laptop with me when I travel, and I'm purely mobile. And then something which is fun would probably be my ESPN Fantasy Football app, which I used a great deal this past football season. Do you have that? Go. ESPN Fantasy Football. I'm not a big fantasy football player. I think I had the Yahoo one on for that. a while, but I'll have to get that one. <laughs> I used to watch ESPN. You know, you can watch it yeah. live. That all had, some of that stuff's pretty cool. Yeah, one of the great. Alex, thanks, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. HBO Go. I'm, yes. HBO Go. That's a great one, too. They blew it mm -hmm. out of the water because it's like, here's everything we've ever made. Just have at it. All yep. you have to do is subscribe. That's and changing then, their business model just fundamentally. 
Applico is the company. You know Get what? the Fox Business app while you're you, you, so you can watch our interviews and stuff. That's right. Alex, it was great to talk to you. Please come back. <laughs> Thank you very much. My the, pleasure. This conversation will continue. Thank you.